Yes, of course, it's Bob Grant from All The Buses. Bob, welcome to the Isle of Wight. Thank you very much, John. Nice to be talking to you. Bob, let, let's go back to those pre-Horsham days when you sort of kicked off your uh, theatre career at Horsham, but how, yes, how, did it, how did it lead up to that? Well, I always wanted to go in, uh, into the theatre, and um, I was sort of acting in kids' plays and things when I was very young. And uh, I went to Lada a couple of years um, training, and uh, I've really been in the business on and off ever since. I've done a few other things. I drove a bus for Southdown at one time, uh, very disastrously. I eventually smashed one up and got the sack. Um, and I've been a frozen food salesman, and I've been in the army, and done things like that uh, just when the acting didn't come along. I'm very glad to say nowadays it comes along rather more frequently. Because after your early struggles, you got into the West End uh, in things like uh, Blitz, was it, in Twang? Yes, um, that's right. Um, I worked, uh, I was very, very lucky, I worked with Joan Littlewood uh, Theatre Workshop in Stratford East and from there got into shows in the West End and did a whole run of uh, successes which was very, very nice indeed and I was very young um, at the time and so that uh, I was sort of suddenly pitchforked in the West End and enjoyed it enormously and that gave me a, a very, very big break very early. Was there any of those, any one particularly that you liked? Um, yes, I, I always remember with great affection Sparrows Can't Sing, which was a very good film made, and uh, I enjoyed my own musical Instant Marriage, which we had a very good run with, uh, which I wrote and uh, played in as well. Um, Blitz was tremendous, that was a magical experience, the scenery was so marvellous and everything, that, uh, I don't know, I suppose one always looks back at these shows with a certain amount of nostalgia, but still, there's many more things to come, we hope. When you sort of took the role of Jack in On The Buses, did you think the series would be so successful? Well, actually, that's a very good question, because um, Stephen Lewis and myself, Stephen Lewis played Blakey, the inspector, uh, go, 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 get you, brother, uh, and uh, he and I were booked for four out of the first seven episodes, and they said, well, it probably won't go more than seven episodes, and uh, we'll guarantee you four out of them, do you want to do it? So we thought, oh, well, nothing much else going, so all right, we'll do it. Well, six years later, we were still doing it, and of course it was a tremendous success. Nobody at that time thought that it was going to work at all. We just thought, well, well it'll, it'll fill in a couple of months, uh, uh, we'll get a few pennies, and that's it. And uh, the series ran to over 80 episodes. We did uh, three feature films, cinema films, and it's been sold in nearly 50 countries all over the world. In fact, it's still playing in many. Of course, you have appeared yourself in places like Australia. Yes, and that sort of series, that, that helped really get you going? Oh, very much so. Um, it was, uh, On the Buses was and still is, a tremendous success in Australia. And so the answer is I've been over there twice, um, which I loved. Uh, in fact, I've only just come back from Western Australia, from Perth, where we had a marvellous two and a half months there in the lovely sunshine. Uh, and uh, swimming in the beautiful warm water and here we are, I, th I think today is the first <laughs> decent day we've had since we came back from Australia but it was great fun, great fun. Yeah, are there any sort of funny stories or uh, about on buses? It must have been uh, a good show to do and did all the cast get on well together? Yes we did actually, we were very very uh, fortunate in that way, we all got on well together, we had a lot of fun, uh, well, there are dozens of stories. Um, I'll tell you one little one. On the very first day uh, that we were filming, of course, nobody really knew what we were doing or anything. We were in a bus garage in North London, and of course they were running their buses as per normal. And uh, I was dressed up there in my bus conductor's uniform, waiting uh, for a take, waiting for the cameras to roll, and a little old lady came up to me and she said, "Yeah." She says, Did this bus go to South End? And I said, I'm terribly sorry, madam. I, I really don't know. You see, I'm, I'm filming and everything, so I really don't know. And she said, well, you bloody well ought to, and hit me over the head with her umbrella. <laughs> so then I thought, that's a great start. <laughs> so I felt a certain sympathy with bus conductors ever since, if that's the sort of treatment they get. Bob, you're very much of an all-rounder. Last Christmas, I think, you were in, in Rick, weren't you? Uh, well, I was doing um, a Christmas show, a Christmas Carol, playing Scrooge, uh, which uh, a musical version up at Birmingham, which was uh, tremendous fun and uh, a, a colossal success. We were sold out for the entire season, which was lovely. 
uh, it was nice to see that and uh, in fact uh, we're going to do that one again it was so good so successful of course you've also done shakespeare shakespeare i've done yes i've done the shakespeare yes and he's regretting it uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah i like to do a little bit of everything in fact i've done i think pretty well every job in the theater except circus that's my one thing i want to do i'd like to be a clown in the circus just for a day uh, because I've, I've done all the others I've been a stage carpenter and a stage manager and I've sold tickets and, and all the rest of it um, so that's really about the only one I've got left that I haven't done I've even been an opera would you believe a non-singing part <laughs> of course you're directing over here on the island two and two makes six do you right. like uh, directing as well as acting? yes I do very much indeed um, I'm, I'm always torn between the three things. I like to act, I like to write, and I like to direct. Um, sometimes I'm foolhardy enough to do all three, and <laughs> that's pretty hair-raising. But uh, I'm enjoying this enormously because we've got a marvellous company for Two and Two Make Sex. They're, they're lovely people, they're working very, very hard, they're extremely talented, and I think it's going to be a very, very funny show. Uh, uh, and so uh, they're making my job very easy as a director uh, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun and I'm sure the audience is going to have. Bob, uh, what sort of direction do you hope your career to go in, in the coming years really? Um, well, um, I, well, I know what, where it's going at the moment because immediately I finish here and now right at the end of September uh, I'm going out on tour the James Bridie play and having done that I'm doing pantomime playing game at uh, Bromley and then I'm going back to Western Australia to do a play and probably a television series. I don't know, I, uh, I'm very fortunate in not actually being able to sit down and think well what am I going to do next because events seem to overtake me which is very nice and very pleasant but I think that if I were to sit down and think about it I would want to uh, do perhaps a little bit less acting and a little bit more writing a little bit more directing how do you relax how do you get away completely Bob? the theater is my relaxation um it, it is uh, apart from my dear wife who of course comes first it is my total life and to me working in the theater is a pleasure uh, it's never a chore so uh, if I do ever get any moments out of the theatre, which is very rare, or out of television or films or whatever, um, my, my big passion is sailing. Um, that I love, and I'm hoping to get some good sailing here. Uh, um, uh, particularly, I, I, I want to go down for Cows Week, uh, which of course is a most marvellous and splendid occasion. I'm looking forward to that enormously. But uh, I, I, I've got one or two friends on the island who've got boats, so uh, I hope I'm going to get a bit of sailing in. Bob, thanks very much, and may I wish you a long and very successful career ahead of you. Thank you very much indeed, John. Hello. Welcome to John Hannah Thank you. Nice to meet you. Then we heard a theme tune on the buses. More about that later, which a lot of us first discovered you in, in yes. on the buses. But there was a lot to your life before then, actually, I know. You were born in South Africa. That's uh, right, yes, I was. And there you got into sort of um, serious acting. I, I went into serious acting, yes. I worked with the South African National Theatre for about two years before I came over here. So you, your aspirations were pretty high in those My days. My aspirations you're... were very high, as they always are when you're very young. Of course. You came to England at the age of 17 that's right yes and then after a little while you moved I think you, you got married and you went to went to Italy, Italy. with my first husband yes he was trained to be an opera singer and I went out there with him and uh, I taught English did you at the English consulate uh, to the Italian employees there Shh. yes what was it doing like in those days Anna it was just wonderful. It was just one big exciting adventure, you know. I mean, Italy was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I, I haven't been back until this last year, and it was still lovely. <laughs> now, you came back to England to work in the business. And yes. You were in the circus for a little while, weren't you? I worked at Bertram Mill Circus while I was still at drama school to pay my fees. Did you? I worked as an elephant girl, rode one of the elephants. <laughs> so yeah. what was that like? Did you like elephants, or...? I, I was, didn't know anything about elephants, it was just that you got more money as an elephant girl than you did as an usherette, so uh, I did the elephant girl. <laughs> Were you scared, right, the elephants? No, 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 because they're very gentle animals, I, I wasn't scared at all. 
Then something completely different, Lilac Time. Of course, you toured in Lilac Time. That's right. I was assistant stage manager and wardrobe for Lilac Time, which meant I did everything for the... I think I got three pounds... Fifth pence a week. Did you? Yeah, it was three pound ten shilling. <laughs> good way to learn, really, isn't Very it? Very good way to learn, yes. <laughs> and I would go right back to 1969 on the buses, which uh, is still a brilliant series today. Lots on video. The movies are still around, aren't yes, they? Yes, that's right, and, yes. Uh, sometimes we say there aren't the classic series there used to be, and certainly on the buses was a classic series, really, wasn't it? Well, I suppose it was. I mean, looking back on it, we didn't think so at the time. We just thought we were very lucky to be so successful. But yes, looking back on it, it was a classic, yes. Reg Varney. Yes, lovely Reg. <laughs> and Bob Grant, who... Yes. Um, and then Stephen Lewis, of course. Stephen Lewis, a lovely Michael Robbins, who played Arthur. <laughs> and and uh, you, yes, and, and I think Cicely Courtney was there for a while. Cicely Courtney was there for the first series, yes. Mm. You gave Michael Robbins Arthur, you gave him a rough time. I think he you? gave me a rough time, <laughs> Did you honestly have lots of fun doing that? Oh, yes, we had a lot of fun. And, and we were very, very close. I mean, uh, we were very, very close as a cast. We were very good friends. and I think that's why it gelled so well. So you're all mates sort of on and off screen yes, in a way. Yes, yes, yes. Any particular uh, episodes that you remember with great affection? Or uh, did... Yeah, everybody asks us yes. this. And you none of us can didn't... remember any of it. We just remember laughing a lot. And we can't remember what we laughed at. <laughs> That's the wonderful thing about it. There was a nice one with a, when you were all caught in a fog, which I, I remember, which I've got on video at home, is when you were all in a fog. And that was quite fun. You probably don't remember that. I don't you? remember that. <laughs> What about the movies? Was that easy to suddenly take a, um, a sort of a popular... Well, I series? think it was more difficult for the writers than it was for us, but they managed very well, and we made three movies, and they were very successful, and we had a lot of fun, and, you know, we did one in Press Staten in a holiday camp, and the other two were done at Elstree in the studios. Looking back then, all those years, why was it so successful, do you think, really, Anna? The right gel of characters, I think, and I think that's what it's all about. The casting there was excellent. The casting was done by a man called Richard Price with a director who was Stuart Allen at the time, and their casting was superb, and that's it, working out the people who gel. You know, and, and Michael and I had this wonderful sort of relationship together, which we did, we loved and hated each other, and so that's why it worked. In the series, they made you up to look well, oh, sort of plain and horrific. You must have been, when you were away from, from the set, you know, probably you weren't recognised that much, were you? Well, that was a blessing, that was a blessing. <laughs> but if I go out with no makeup on, I'm always recognised. <laughs> then, of course, not long after that, you went into the sort of re reworking of the rate trade, didn't you? That's right, yes, I did the reworking of the rate trade. Uh, with um, Gillian Tailforth, who's in East. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. It was a good cast in that. That was a good game, good casting. Yeah, mm. same writers, good casting. Yeah. Could you remember much about the original series? Have you probably no, watched? I had never seen the original series. Uh, my my best friend Barbara Windsor was in the of original course, series, yeah. but I'd never seen it. I can remember a lady called Esme Cannon. Oh, she was wonderful, wasn't she? <laughs> Everyone. I've seen her in films. <laughs> It's great. He's got a swell personality. Meets and greets the stars with such humility. Good enough to make you coming out of the street. John Hallamay. That's right. Happy memories there. Anna Karen was actually recorded in Bournemouth uh, in the 2000s. And the Bob Grant interview uh, was about uh, 31 years ago when I was quite a boy by this sound of it. And that was recorded uh, at Shankton Theatre where he was doing Summer Season right back in 1978. And I would like to say that uh, it is now the late Bob Grant. He met uh, a very tragic death in the 90s. But I shall never forget that Summer Season because I got to know him in so well and he was such a a lovely guy and the book on the bus is the complete story it's just been released and it's been written by craig walker